energy check-in. <laughs> Sorry. When you see me in person, remind me to be ba- to be not energy check-in. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna do a read today. <laughs> We're gonna do your article first. Energy check-in are short and sweet, of course. So Gemini, let's see what's going on for you guys here. Okay, I have something to announce as always because the veil is thin. It is Diwali, which I celebrate as well, and it's new moon. So there's a lot of things, okay, that I would share with you guys in a little while. Let's see what we have for the Gemini. Let's see. Ooh, a leg up. Okay, a leg up means uh, this is the mama bear. So this is about like either you need help you need assistance or you're the one giving help or assistance but this is also about protection because that's a mama bear kind of instinct um the mama bear is a, a, we call it territorial okay so you're probably right now in a mode where either again you're very protective um what's yours is yours you know in, in that sense not like a possessive way but you really just want to show up and then show force that it's just like, I got you. You know, this is very positive. There's a lot of energy that I'm seeing here for you, um, Gemini. And you just want to push through. So that's a leg up. But some, of course, they do need help. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Ooh, we love ace of swords victory we love that okay so having the ace of swords okay hear me out um this is uh this is you understanding in the situation that you have that it's gonna get better okay so the ace of swords is the light at the end of the tunnel okay first card is strongest right so if i look at it closely we have venus going in sag pretty soon in mid uh mid um november Okay. So there could be clarity in the relationship, victory in the relationship, you know. But there could also be some instances right now that two of you are not talking. There are some sort of like little disputes here and there, okay, um, for the Gemini because you have your um, how do you, your fifth house, Lord Venus. It's in Scorpio and that's sixth house. Venus does not want to be in the sixth house. That is strife for the relationship. It's been struggling, okay. But as soon as Venus goes to, to seventh, it's going to do well. So here, it's just truth and clarity is what you're trying to get. I feel like you are about to get it. Yes, as the Ace of Swords, we love. Okay. Let me see here. Wow, who's your daddy? Emperor right here. Okay. Taking charge, being bold, driven. Emperor. Um, having the Emperor card. Let me see. This is normally like, because uh, I already mentioned that you are a go-getter there. But having emperor, it's uh, you won't take matters sitting down. You are motivated to be a participant of your life. Some people they're just on the sideline. You know, some people are like that. You know, they operate on the sideline. You're not like that. So this relationship, if you want it to be victorious, you would have to take matters in your own hand, communication-wise with the Ace of Swords. So to text them, to call them, would lead to victory. To see them, you know, would lead to victory. To clarify the situation with them, if there's something cloudy, um, it would be up to you also. All right? But it all leads to victory. Good. Now for others, you're connecting with the Divine Masculine. That's an emperor. Oh, normally, that's a superior. That's a boss. You know, they have their own business. You know, like that. That's an emperor. And you feel victorious. Oh, whoever you're connecting with, that's power, influence, money. That's an emperor. Okay? Okay, out of clarity comes confusion. Welcome to the Gemini read. Ooh, why is this? Ten of Swords. Uh, we need to prevent this. Okay, so your person right now has a lot of mental kind of thing going on, emotional as well. Seven of Cups is here. They don't know their place in life and they don't know what they want. Okay. Seven of Cups to the Ten of Swords, I feel like they have so much pressure with regards to their dreams. I want that, this, this, that. So, you know, they want they want what you have because you're a go-getter, but I don't know what, what's going on in their life, but they're not like you. Okay? Now, the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords, they feel like a lot of, in the you know, in their life right now is a burden. They feel like it's very, very difficult, it's tough, it's all pain and suffering. Okay? And that, I feel can lead to a breakup. I feel like you're gonna get tired of it. 
Because the Ten of Swords is them bringing this pain and suffering. And it's like they're not really helping, helping. Okay? Let me see. You have the World card. You got good cards, Gemini. You got the World and the Emperor. This is travel opportunities. This is moving and relocating. Visa and passport. Ace of Swords. The World card is accomplishment. A flip of a page of a life. Meaning you're ready to take the 2025. Remember? You know, and I promise this to Gemini, right? 2025 will be your year. Not the January 1st. Like, move it to March. <laughs> but that's as good as it gets. I mean, that's as good. Uh, and 12 months from that. Because Jupiter is going to go to your first house. Once that Jupiter goes to your first house. Oh. Victory. Now. I see. I see. There was a Gemini that I was reading and interpreting. And it involves really a lot of power. And if this combination is right, then I already see the future. The future of the United States. Okay. Hmm? Got a King of Pentacles right here. Okay. Yep. Uh, King of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups with the Ten of Swords. I see here that with the Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, it's about work, career. Someone here is confused about what they can do in their life or how they want to settle. Your person, not you. Yep, and they want you to be patient with them. Seven of Pentacles. Because uh, he's a world leader. Emperor, the world, and Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, let me see. Seven of Pentacles, you're waiting for your person to give you the answer, but there has no answer yet. There's no conclusion. But I feel like you could, the two of you may have separated already with a Ten of Swords. So this could be something that you want to fix because you're still waiting. Now, on the Eve, basically the Hallows Eve, and it's also the New Moon and uh, Diwali, okay, the time that you're watching this. Starting that day, all the way to 11-11, okay, which is November 11, when the portal is open, okay, I'm making every night specific intention bracelet, which is the 11-11 bracelet. Okay, this is Super 7. My favorite for manifesting, let's just say the impossible. Okay, it makes the impossible possible. Because there's seven gemstones inside it. Obstacle in love, you know, that career advancement, the success in that business, healing that family, removing that evil eye. It's amazing. It's very strong. That's why it's called Super 7, right? It has jade as well for luck and opportunity. Hear me out. Every night, I would do this ritual, and I do perform my own magic as always. 13 diyas, 13 lamps, and then I do my offering for Goddess Lakshmi. I have my conch, you will see it. I'll share it with you guys. And then, of course, I have this water that comes from a river. I, I, it's the works, okay? When I do a ritual, you know, my puja, it's really like, you know, very, very um, textbook, okay, on how I do it. Um, I would put the intention in your Super 7, and every night I do that all the way until the portal is open. Because 11-11, for me, I believe that it is a very powerful time for manifestation. It's an angel number, right? You've seen it for sure. But here's the thing. I will give you this Lemurian crystal. Not this one, but you will see it. Okay? This is mine. Okay? I'm just showing it to you. Um, and that one, you keep one, Gemini, and you give one to another person. That one is meant okay, to help the other person with the intention that you want to help them. But you don't tell them here you need help, okay? You give that as a remedy. With my practice as a mystic, I do a lot of remedies. So this is one that I like to do because this one gives back, the universe gives back what you need solution. Is it relationship, money, what is it, okay? So you give that to someone as a gift, okay? Free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. And like what I mentioned, this is every night every done okay so my prayers would be for that intention at the notes you would have to tell me are you waiting for someone to resolve this relationship are you waiting for your career your business to be successful okay yeah, yeah well it's taking it's taking long this is what you're saying knight of pentacles and a magician and you want results now and that's why i like the super seven i see results right away with the moldivite it's kind of intense uh, you get the result, but it's intense. Six months result. Six months. This one is smooth. I'm not that scared with a Super 7. But uh, um, with Lemuria, uh, uh, with Maldivite and Libyan Desert, it's very fast. 
Here, magician in the Knight of Pentacles, you don't want to slow things down. You want to go. You want to move forward. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I feel like your person has been Six of Pentacles distancing themselves from you. And that's why Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords, they have been breadcrumbing. It's lacking something and you don't want to let go. Not that you're possessive again. You just know that this is the one. But, you know, the relationship is kind of going into something rough. And it feels like your person um, doesn't want to talk to you. And you're just here saying, it's like, no, I want to give it a chance. Maybe a second chance, recon reconcile basically. The fool. So, as a full card. So let me know when you get your Super 7, what's your intention? And for the next, you know, days and nights, basically, I'll, I will make sure that I put that when I imbue your talisman.